Hello fellow quarantinees. Just thought I'd do a quick video, show you what I've been up to with my uh, uh, extra time off here. And uh, last year I had uh, two raised beds. I'm building three more. So there's uh, there's one that I just built today. Uh, behind there, the reason I wish I could push this a little bit further back, but the reason that it's as far forward as it is and so close to that tree as it is is because I do have garlic popping up over here. I didn't know that right there that, that you see is green. Every one of those little plants is garlic. I think I counted 10 right here and about 10 at the other end of the uh, little fenced in area here. Um, I didn't know that I was going to put a raised bed right here when I planted that garlic last fall or I would have done something different. But uh, So that's one and I'm going to make another one. I have the lumber for that already. This is something, if you uh, are a student of mine, you read about this on my website. Hopefully you did. I don't know that everybody did, but maybe you did. Uh, I made a uh, another raised bed with a, a, a hoop house. And I've already planted this out a week ago, exactly a week ago Wednesday. Uh, I planted a bunch of stuff in here. Nothing's popping through yet. But uh, I have it open right now because it's 52 degrees and uh, inside there it would be over 80 if I had the thing shut. So it gets very nice and uh, toasty in there. My wife hasn't made me sleep out here yet, but uh, if she does, I know it'll be warm enough. But um, it's uh, open so that I don't cook everything that's in there. And I'm going to have to be careful of that, I guess, as, uh, as we go through the spring to leave it open more than it's shut. But it certainly does trap the heat in there at night. So that's a... Uh, uh, a uh, new added thing this year and hopefully we'll have uh, stuff sooner. I planted a bunch of cold weather crops in here too, so lettuce and spinach and a few other things. I know I have carrots in here and cilantro and again uh, other things. Uh, these are the two old beds that I had last year. My intent is to turn them 90 degrees so one will go kind of on the other side of that tree if you can see the white um, protective cover there. It'll go on the far side of that 90 degrees the way it is now. This one, same thing uh, on this side of that tree, and then I'll have room to put one more. Uh, in preparation, because I have uh, some dirt being delivered Friday, I'm going to move this dirt over to that bed, and then I'll be able to turn this. And uh, so in doing so, I had to pull up all the carrots that I had planted last year, and I had a nice little harvest here. I don't know what the weight would be, maybe over a pound of each. These are purple something or rather. And uh, these are Scarlet Nantas carrots. So very excited about that. Although I'm on a keto diet and uh, carrots are a little bit high in carb, I don't know how many of those I'll get to eat, but I will definitely sample those. Uh, I guess the only other thing to show is that I am burning a fire too in hopes that I'll get some ashes to mix in with the soil that I put into each one of the garden beds. Supposed to make things more... Uh, mineral rich when you do that. Woods full of minerals, so you burn it down, it's all you have left is just concentrated minerals. That's what wood ash is. So when that's a smoldering fire, I'll uh, move the ashes over to this one. Maybe I'll have another fire and then move the ashes over to the other uh, new one that I'll do. Um, I guess that's all. I uh, hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you are using your time productively. And if you're a student of mine, I hope that I'll see you again soon. Take care.